So I just purchased this Disney Thomas Kincaid coloring book and I thought I'd share it with you guys. We'll start on the first page here, which is Mickey and Minnie. And as you can see, it'll be a little difficult to shade in some parts of the book because the black's already there and it's done here for you, but it's still a goodness, overwhelming book for me. I love that there's a guide on the left hand side to direct me on what colors to do things because it's sometimes overwhelming to color these types of pages. But look at the detail, the shading. Oh, I love the little mermaid. Look at all the blues. All the water with the blues and the purples and teal colors. Just so many fine details. His art is just phenomenal. Little flounder. Turning over to Beauty and the Beast, and you can see that he uses a lot of light, so the moonlight is shining on Beast and on Belle. All the detail in the flowers, even the village. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Just gorgeous. His paintwork is it's just beautiful. Look at Tinkerbell. So scene from Peter Pan, you've got all of her fairy dust all along around her and you can see that they've put it also onto the coloring page so you have to manipulate that. These are the things that I really have to work on is manipulating like even the shadows, the cast in the cloud work. It's just so beautiful. The Lion King, the purple hues, the sun beaming down. He always uses light, a lot of light on each of his pages. As you can see, like sometimes I'll point it out for you. But if I don't look at the detail with the Sultan from Aladdin on this rug, oh my gosh, just absolutely stunning. I'm afraid to put a pencil to the book and just ruin things. Oh, Pinocchio! wish upon a star look at the light it's the fairy and then look at the lighting that takes place on the mountain it's cast on the mountains and then on pinocchio himself the shadows that take place the lighting on the little bunnies if you see a page in here that you would like to see me color and share maybe i'll do that as well i thought this was bambi but it's actually from snow white no, it looks like Bambi and his mom, but um, look at the detail on the on all the flowers. Again, light coming on. You see it on the tree, on Bell, on Beast, on the shading of the grass. So it's like the lighter tones here, all on the trees and on the grass. But yeah, if there's a page that pops out to you, they're like, "Wow, I'd love to see that colored." Let me know down below. He's so cute, the little baby elephant. Lots of lighting down the middle. And I mean like light up. I'm not sure if I'm using the right terminology. I'm not an artist by any means. I'm just a admiring this beautiful artwork. Look at the illumination that takes place all along the side here. So you've got Poo and the balloon all lit up and Christopher Robin the tree is lit up oh my gosh I'm like ah I'd love to do this oh my goodness isn't this just breathtakingly beautiful the colors the sun lighting up where she would be kind of facing where Snow White is facing the rocks and the water I'm going to have to use some mineral spirits, I think, to blend out some of my colors. So a scene from The Little Mermaid, which you, if you know about me, you know that that's one of my favorite Disney movies. The detail on the rooftops of this castle. This is Beauty and the Beast's castle. Look at the sky. Look at the sky. Oh my. How to do that with a 
Alice in Wonderland, her reflection right down in the water. That would be quite fun to play with, I think. Beautiful purples and pinks and a little cottage. Just so pretty. Princess Tiana. Princess and the Frog. All the beautiful lighting, the moonlight lights. Like you can see it lights the front and then her behind. Another scene from The Little Mermaid. And then see how there's like the detail on the wave, but then the moonlight kind of on the ocean. Oh my goodness, just just beautiful. The Jungle Book. Baloo. The lighting all on him. And Mowgli. Now this would be a challenge. Look just just the road alone to color that in and shade it all in and get the right detailing on the rooftops. It's They're all dark, even just the brick, right? Oh, little Bambi. Oh, he's so cute. All the detail. Thumper. Just the challenge alone to create like this mystical fog in between them, I guess, mineral spirits for blending those colors out. Look at little Chip and Mrs. Potts. So beautiful from Fantasia. That reminds me, I actually should get my hands on watching this with the kids. Just the black shading in there. You'd have to really work on the gloves because see the gloves are not outlined in black but then they are on the right hand side. And the same with the rainbow, right? The tea tail on Lady and the Tramp. Trying to get in all the ripples of the water reflection. Look at the colors, it's so vibrant. And the faces of the flowers, the clock, and then there's like little white stars or dust, I don't know, reflections, you know, sparkles. The same with coming down from the top there. Now they're not present on this page here, so you kind of just, that's, that's good because then you can just add them in yourself. Oh my goodness. Winnie the Pooh scene, now this is like almost like a blurry, blurred effect that would be quite the challenge to mimic another scene from the jungle book lots of shading lots of water shading in the sky and night sky and then the lighting that's coming from the village on the oh beauty and the beast just the tile alone behind them Make sure you get all the dimension and into the darkness of the night. We've got tangled. A lot of blues, lots of reflection from the what are they called? The floating what are these guys called? The floating lanterns. So they're not scenes from the movie per se, but I think they're they're Thomas Kincaid's, what they were his um, interpretations. This one's from Sleeping Beauty. Look at the red detail, like shadow casting on here. So very his in his way with Walt Disney's story, and then he kind of put them together into paintings. And now these paintings have been separated into pages into this coloring book. So this is part of another bigger picture, but you've got all this beautiful oh my goodness, lighting coming off the side, and then there's Monstro the Whale following the sailboat. And like this scene here, I don't think it's from Bambi, but it's his interpretation, so he's got the light shining on, I'm not sure if this is actually Bambi or his dad at this point here. 
Oh, I love it. It's Mickey's detailing so you can shadow in on the black that they already have dyed in for you by adding some white. A scene from The Little Mermaid. Underwater, of course. So you have the lighting coming from the top so he's like, let the sun through. And then it casts almost the sun rays coming through the surface of the water. Oh, this is gorgeous. Just absolutely perfection. There's Snow White. Tiny little Snow White there. And you got the witch. Oh, I just, this is perfection. What a beautiful page. When you really take a look at all the detail, look at the, the cottage. It looks so realistic. Fantasia, probably one of my favorite scenes. It's the brooms. I haven't watched this since I was a child. I can't even believe I still remember. I was probably my daughter's age when I watched this in grade four. gorgeous Cinderella page. Just noticing here that they do have the lines in for the white medium that you'd be using. Lots of light shadowing and dimension on her dress. The little stars are not right in the right spots either so that's kind of throwing me off a little bit here but Everything else, I mean, is beautiful. You've got a gorgeous Beauty and the Beast castle again. And the rainbow. They did add in the lines, the black lines on the right here, but I mean, you can work with that a bit too. This picture is just captivating. The detail on the water fountain, the village, the Oh my goodness, Aladdin's rug. What's the name of the rug? I forget. But look at the detail across this entire picture. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love this. I love it. It's so sweet. We need the poo in the water with Christopher Robin and an umbrella. Another image from Dumbo. Again, I say images, but they're not scenes from the movie. Look at the people here. This is going to be interesting. Very interesting. So there's lots of little circles here. And then as you can see on the left, it's just blurred. I'll show you a close up here. Another absolutely perfect painting. The detail on this tree. It's enchanting. And Sleeping Beauty. One story I'm not very familiar with. You've got Peter Pan. The lighting that's all on them. Look on, on John and on Wendy. And the fall and the tree. Oh my goodness. I am just like, which picture do I even attempt to color? To try to... This is so cute. This is a scene from Pinocchio. So it's it's cut in another section and so you have honest john walking up the path this here there's a ton of people in a little concert show outdoor performance alice in wonderland the queen of hearts oh you've got chester the cat up the top here i hadn't even noticed him when i opened the flipped up to the page up yonder when she gets lost down the hole an image again not an image i keep saying it but just his creation of beauty and the beast having a little outdoor picnic i absolutely love how magical the scene that is oh oh my i think oh what do i do do i paint do i even try to color this oh there's max do i even try to color this as my first image Oh, this is just it's so beautiful. I love her tail in the water. I love the water splashing around her. From a scene, well, not a scene, but his interpretation of the Lion King. I 
There's Bambi. Bambi and his mama. I could only imagine how challenging this would be to do all the dark shading here and trying to make sure that the right colors come through. When you really take a good, like, and you look deeply into a picture like this one here, there's, you know, the light shadow castings on the water streets and look at all the dark, yeah, and the flowers and when you really look at what you're going to try to duplicate, it's a little bit mind-blowing. Look at this. Just having the tree and then the flowers on the tree. The little people coming through. Gaston, his bullies. Hey, aren't these little mice, mice Jack and Gus from uh, Cinderella? Oh, here's a Cinderella scene with the wicked stepsisters. Look at the stairs and the lighting that takes place on these steps. Oh my goodness. I just... And the lighting that's taking place in behind them and how translucent almost the house is, right? Another bubbly scene from The Little Mermaid. The purple hues blues, the lighting, oh another very bright Alice in Wonderland, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, isn't it? Snow White finds the cottage, it's just so beautiful and <laughs> looks it's just, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Look at the stone. It looks just so realistic. The front stonework, the side chimney. You got a, the princess and the frog. Oh, this is a fun picture of Peter Pan. Just flying to Neverland. Oh, I just love it. So I wonder if this is cut up from a bigger image. I'm going to have to look that up. Maximus from Tangled. He looks angry or worried. In the mime. I love the Winnie the Pooh images. They're just so cheerful and they make me so happy when I look at them. The lighting that's coming. I wish Pooh was in this picture, but it's just perfect. And this is from Sleeping Beauty, right? A horse reminds me of Maximus from Tangled almost. Ah, here's Bambi. The light shining down on him and everywhere like oh, oh this page is just but water everything is perfect about it oh look there's little animals in the tree too i wish some of the little mermaid pictures weren't so dark maybe that they would that he would have focused more on the mermaid herself but i guess of course he's looking at doing landscaping stuff right with the water and flowers anyways that's the end so the book is available in the U.S. and Canada. I did buy it for $10 through Indigo if you're looking to purchase it through Canada. I'm sure it's available elsewhere. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And um, if you do spot a picture in here that you'd like to see me attempt to color, I would be happy to film it, I think. But yeah, there's just some just magical pictures in here, so... I will attempt, I will. Um, I'm not a, I enjoy coloring, but I'm not a, like, I'm not an artist, so my take on coloring will be different from an artist, of course, but I would love to share a little color with me session with you guys. If you want to pick a page from here, let me know down below. Anyways, until next time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.